Thank you for joining me today. My name is Myra Moore with Moore Football LLC. Joining me today is a linebacker out of Bethany College, Jerron, Jerron I apologize, Caraway. Hi, Jerron. Thank you so much for being here today. So I wanted to talk to uh, talk about you just a little bit, get to know who you are, and you know what's going on as far as your football and all of that good stuff. Uh, let me know. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? All those good deeds. Um, right now, uh, I'm six foot one. Uh, I'm training at two hundred and twenty five pounds. Uh, I play, or I play a uh, middle linebacker and outside linebacker for Bethany College. Nice. And are you graduating this year? Or are you a twenty or a twenty one drop prospect? Uh, I'm a twenty twenty. I'll be graduating this December. Nice. Well, fantastic. I mean, you're finally almost done. It's kind of like oh, bittersweet, okay. right? You're almost finally done with your degree. You're going to graduate, but then football is done. So yeah. that's, that's the bittersweet part. Um, what's your major? Uh, my major is in marketing. Now nah, I love it. Marketing is the way to go. Yeah, <laughs> so, I, I, I agree. I agree. It Especially is. With, uh, what I'm trying to do. Awesome. And so what have you been doing as far as like combines and training and stuff like that? So, um, I've been training at, um, Premier Athletic Training, uh, which, uh, is my logo right here, uh, based in, um, Ames, Iowa. Uh, mm-hmm. I've been training with, uh, the owner, Ben Durbin. He's an Iowa State wrestling coach. Um, I've been working out with him, uh, a former, I'll call him a legend, uh, Iowa State All-American, Brian Peavy. Uh, he's been helping me out with my footwork. Um, I started training there in January, and uh, I'm in Kansas right now. I've been there for about a week and a half. Um, still receiving coaching from them, and I'll be heading back in about two weeks. Um, as far as combines, I went to the BSN National Scouting Combine on, I believe it was the 24th, mm-hmm. and uh, I did pretty well there. Um I planned on going to a couple uh, CFL open tryouts, but as you and I both know, they've been canceled due to the corona. Mm-hmm. And um, I plan on going to, I still have a combine uh, for April 11th, the AS Elite, I believe that's how you pronounce it, at uh, Missouri Western, their indoor. Uh, still on go for that. Um, there's the MFE. Yes, MFV. Uh, mm-hmm. They're slated for May 2nd. Still on go for that one. I'll and be at that one. Huh? I'll be at that one doing live interviews. Awesome. So I'll get to meet so you in person. So you'll get to meet me in person. So we'll definitely right. have to link up. But yes, I'll be at that one. Um, and MFE also is doing, I believe, May 4th for Indy. Um, so I know everybody's kind of like... Do we cancel? Do we wait? Do we keep going? And I'm like, no, no more cancellation, okay? I, that's what yeah, I feel like no. telling everybody. Don't can't stop it. Stop it. Everybody's, I don't want to say everybody's going to get sick, but I mean, there's a higher chance that we're going to get sick. Just work through it. Vix. But that's me going off on a yes. tangent. <laughs> that's my Latina coming out. That's right. <laughs> we live and die by Vix. <laughs> because you're marketing yourself so you, you're getting it you need to get yourself out there um otherwise nobody's gonna know who you are how so what's your speed like how fast are you um i'll say um so i ran my 40 at the bsn combine uh, i was a little disappointed um i ran a 49 but i i know faster than that with a 40 inch vertical and it doesn't exactly correlate so um I'm looking to definitely improve at my next combine. Yes. And training, I mean, you're, it sounds like you're doing such great training because that's really all it is, is eating clean and training. Um, Absolutely. I know, and so you had mentioned that you had, you know, workouts and stuff with the CFL, which we know is same with the XFL. Everything was canceled. But if you were to be given the opportunity, like somebody, one of the coaches were to come up to you today and, you know, offer you a spot on the team, but they want to know what makes you different. What makes you different from the other, you know, linebacker for a college? Mm-hmm. So, um, in my past experience, uh, I formerly played. I was formerly a Fort Hayes State University Tiger. Um, about uh, when I came in, I played as a safety. 
I had some on the field experience as a safety. Uh, the following year, I played as a linebacker. I get this, the following year, I even played, I got a little bit of time as a defensive end. Oh. And so, um, with that knowledge at every level of defense, I feel like there aren't too many linebackers that can say that they've done it all. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like I've taken those techniques and pretty much cultivated my game to what it is, uh, especially like um, with me being able to backpedal like a veteran safety or mm-hmm. have hands like I'm a, like a seasoned defensive lineman or um, to be able to have uh, that field position of uh, a linebacker. You know, I feel like that's my package. Mm-hmm. There aren't too many that I can say that. You and you're right. There's not. You what you made yourself. You made yourself an asset because you can be utilized in different aspects of defense and not just primarily a linebacker. Which is in this day and age, it's a good thing, right? It's it's good to not just singularly focus on on one position anymore. It's good to be versatile, especially because. The body shapes and the strength, everything's changing. It's not like, you know, you have to be a 6'3", 6'4", you know, DN or a wide receiver who's 6'3". I mean, there's wide receivers out there that are barely six foot, and that's, it's, everything's changing so fast. So I love that you made yourself an asset because that's a better way to market yourself. You're versatile. That's a good thing. Uh, what's your motivation? What's keeping you going? Because it's it's a hard it is truly a hard industry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I would say my my uh, my motivation first and foremost is my family. Um, just being able to um, play in front of my parents uh, was definitely a blessing for me. Uh, honestly, me being here and just talking to you uh, is a blessing. I didn't picture myself being this far a year, two years ago, and. Uh, just making my parents proud and having them call me and tell me how proud proud of me they are. Um, you know, it just gives me a kickstart every time I get down, especially in times like these. Yeah. Um, you know, with everything getting canceled and um, you kind of just you kind of just don't know, mm-hmm. and you know, you get that random call from mom and you know, yeah. tells you to keep your head up, keep praying, keep working because breakthrough is coming. And you know, it kickstarts me every time. Good. That's exactly what it should do because family's everything, right? Otherwise, what what are we doing if it's not about family and it's not about the right motivation? So that's amazing. I'm glad that that you know that's your your focus. Um, I know with so much going on, you know, in in the coronavirus and everything being canceled, do you worry about it? Is it something that you think about, or is it like, hmm, we just got to keep going? I mean, if we're talking about as far as getting sick, I never get sick. <laughs> so I, I think I'll be okay there. <laughs> but um, as far as uh, cancellations, um, I really just try to look at it with uh, the bright side being I got more time. Yeah. I got more time to work. And um, to just I got more time to improve on the numbers that I put up at the BSN Combine. Mm-hmm. I had some numbers that I were extremely happy with. And I had some numbers that I wasn't so happy with and you know I got I got an extra month to work and so uh I'll definitely be at MFC um yeah definitely gonna put up some uh some yeah. impressive numbers I'll say that now I love that I love that mindset because you have to have a positive mindset yes it's it's you know it sucks that so much has been canceled and we have to wait but you're looking at it like with a silver lining is you have another month to prepare. And that to me is, it says wonders. So keep Absolutely. that mindset because you're right. It is another month to you know improve your speed or improve whatever you would like to improve because it's just that extra time that maybe gets you to that four seven or that four eight or even that four six. And then you're just, then everybody's gonna be all over you. <laughs> so this is your last hurrah. If a coach, you know, were to offer you anything right now, and this is your selling factor. What would you tell them? Oh, that wasn't one on. That wasn't on a question there. Um, so I say my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surprise. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say my selling factor would be. Um, hmm. I would say um, giving my his 
history on the field with me, you know, playing every line of defense. Uh, you put me wherever you want me to put. You put me wherever you want me to be. Not only am I going to learn it, but uh, I'm going to master it. I'm going to master my craft. Mm-hmm. I'm going to outwork everybody. You're an asset. I'll be an asset, yes. You made yourself and into an asset. Exactly, you know, because this, this game is a business. Um, these guys got to keep their jobs, and they got to have guys that make plays on the field. Yes. And uh, I'm going to do everything I can to make myself an asset, not a liability to the team. There you go. Thank you so much for being with me. I really appreciated this. Everybody, take a look at his film. I'm asked, It's attached to this post as well, but I'm also going to do a separate post. Um, take a look at it. Like it, retweet. Let's get him some exposure because he's a great, he's a great, phenomenal linebacker. And I can't wait to see more stuff coming from you and these combines. And I'll definitely see you April. It, no, I'm sorry. I'll see you in May. <laughs> Other than that, thank you all. Take a look. More football on YouTube as well as morefootball.org. You'll see the full video. Like, retweet, share. Thank you guys for joining us. You have a good one.